Kingdom. Two factory blue flame. Again. <laughs> <laughs> again and again. I don't know that this is a build he likes doing. I just feel like that's something that all meching players do. <laughs> yeah. Two factory uh, blue flame into double armory into mass PF. <laughs> <laughs> mass PF. PFs everywhere. All right, here we go. Top right of the map, ladies and gentlemen, on this Monday night, we have Paperboat. He is a Red Zerg. Bottom right, uh, I'm sorry, yeah. Did I say top left? Top right. Top right of the map, we have the Red Zerg. Bottom left, we have our green Terran. These two are tied one to one. I am here joined by Poutine. Poutine, say hello. Hello. Thank you for having me. And uh, I'm glad to be here. Very welcome, sir. Uh, glad that you're part of this uh, Daywalker tonight. Hope everyone's having a warm night. It's, it was very cold these last two days here in Pennsylvania. Don't get me started about the cold. <laughs> Yesterday, it was freaking negative 30. Negative what? 30, and somebody in my house left the door open. Ah. Oh, <laughs> what? Yeah, oh, so that, just, that just makes you want to wring someone's neck. You know what I mean? It's like, come here. I want to. I well, it may have been me who left the door open. You. I don't quite remember. Oh, <laughs> do you live alone? <laughs> I live with my family, but oh, uh, we okay. live in a fairly big house, and uh, I'm on the third floor, and the door is on the second floor. Oh, and someone left it open? Oh, that's not good. Yeah, uh, I... Uh, yeah, it was cold. <laughs> Very cold. Now, we're gonna be now seeing, you're talking uh, about Celsius. Uh, you're, you're, second racks. you're saying negative, negative 30, and you mean Celsius. Yes, yeah. and I'm saying proxy second racks. Ooh, hello. I'm going. <laughs> <Dzernski> is a genius. <laughs> he is metagaming this Zerg all that, over uh, the place. Paper boat. He uh, he drone scouted the first two games, and he didn't do anything. The drone scouting helped him against the first two games. Mm -hmm. And now third game, he doesn't drone scout, and bam, two racks. Genius. Zinski here is just. Metagaming or mind gaming paper boat all over the place. He's especially his yeah, and he last game in this game. Cool, and he doesn't have an overlord over his expansion. This is gonna get ugly. <laughs> oh, okay, the overlord's coming back. It's coming back. It's coming back. We'll find out what happens here. He's gonna take a walk. A walk around the uh, Zerg base first. He's gonna notice the pool is down. Also, all that good stuff. This overlord that's coming into the natural of the Terran. This uh, is weird pathing for the SCVs. You think so? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Why are they going to the second racks? All right, they're all going together. Yeah, you know, you know how how you are. You're, you're on some desolate island, you know, planet or something like this, and you don't want to go anywhere alone. All right, all right here we go. This is double Terran style. This is like the Muslim. Yeah, Get it done. Go throw down your bunkers. <laughs> is he going to do the triple bunker? I think he might do the triple bunker wall off. The Overlord does see this. <laughs> oh my god, it's a triple bunker. This is so genius. Oh my god, this is... This is like the cheesiest the cheese. This is something that Dumb Muslim does all the time. Alright, in your face, I'm in front of your natural with three bunker style from the Terran, our green Terran here. Who, uh... And well, there's nothing that Zerg can do about it. You know, he needs uh, to make a spine crawler. Okay, he is. He needs to make another spine crawler. <laughs> as hard it is to to admit uh, that f from that first game, I didn't think Zerzinski had a chance to come back in this. But hey, you know what? He's doing it. What do you think about the uh, nerf into Hots, where they only allow two Hellions in a medevac? I think any nerf to the hell that is. It's good. <laughs> I agree. Alright, one of the spine crawlers can hit this, uh, uh, bunker. Ah, yeah, it's funny. He's trying to bait, he, you see what he's doing? He's trying to bait the marines and uh, trying to bait the lings into the bunker so he can just get free link kills. He's not making SCVs at home, which is a mistake. Oh, no SCV production at home. He's only concentrating on making marines. And, oh, this, the Patry does go down. Broodlings come out to try and do their job. They can't. Now he has two spine crawlers attacking this uh, north northmost bunker. Alright, he's gone back to producing SCVs. Yes, he did. 
mass repair on the bunker is still happening. <laughs> it's always funny to me to see a spine crawler attacking a bunker. Did you ever see the uh, the film series Land Before Time? I mean, you know, <laughs> long time ago. Yeah, doesn't it remind you of like the long necks? Yeah, yeah, it does. You're right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you think spine crawlers only eat vegetables? Um, <laughs> I, I think they're they leaves from the tall trees. I think they're happy with just about anything the way they act. So, uh, fun fact: you see how um, see how uh, paperboard is making banelings to bust out of this uh, contain? Yeah. Did you know that uh, banelings that explode a uh, bunker? Units inside the bunker completely fine. That's so OP, man. <laughs> the bailings are getting killed. He's trying to run the bailings in at the bunker, and <laughs> the Marines are shooting the bailings down before they get there. <laughs> oh man! What he has to do is send his uh, send like a. You didn't see it. What? He needs to send a wall of zerg zergs in front of the bailings to absorb the uh, hits. Oh my goodness! Well, one bunker does manage to go down, but there's two more here. <laughs> wow. He's gonna lose a spine crawler. Both spine crawlers, GG. Devil turn right here. That was Zerzinski. 